If you've seen one of those mobiles that people make with a wire coat hanger, well that's basically what a frame is within PTE AV Studio. The coat hanger could sway left and right like a pendulum, but at the same time objects hanging from it could be rotating. Both the objects and the frame can be animated independently of each other for some unusual effects. The objects we can see on screen here are the three portrait format images. But as you can see, they're slightly inset from the frame, which indicates that they are a child of the parent frame. So we're in the objects and animation screen of PTE AV Studio with a brand new project. And the only image I have selected at the moment is this background sky. Click into the bottom right corner to lose the selection, right click and add a frame. Once we have the frame, I need to right click on the frame and add the images. Now the images I'm going to choose are glass one, glass two, and glass three. We can open them all up together. I'm going to select them all and also all of the keyframes on the right so I can go up to the zoom and I can drop it down to about 80. I can go to the properties and I can put a border and a shadow. Now you can see that I'm working fairly quickly here to keep the time down. Now while I've got all three of those keyframes selected down at the bottom left I'm going to apply a keyframe time of about five seconds because I want about five seconds for these images to drift from this off the screen onto the screen. So once I've got them into this position, what I really need to do is to split them up. So if I just select glass one for a moment, I can move that to the right. 65 or 66 is the value that's probably going to work about right. So if I go to glass three and I move that this way, in fact, it may look better if I leave that one and actually move glass two. But because the other value was 65, I do know that this will be minus 65. So we can speed things up once we understand the animation tab on the right hand side. What I'm going to do with all three of these images is this. I'm going to right click the keyframe, I'm going to clone it and immediately move it to the left. Now they're not going to change anything because there's the start, there's the finish. We'll come back and adjust the start in a minute. But what I need to do now is exactly the same as what I did here for glass one and glass three. So there you can see what we currently have and we are going to need speed options in the first of these keyframes but I don't want to deal with that here. I do have another five minute fix where I demonstrate exactly how and why we should use those speed options. If you look up at the top right though, you can see I've selected slow down for each of those keyframes. Now starting with the first keyframe of glass one, I can start to decide on the animation. So I'm going to drag this to the left we can do anything we wish here, and experimentation is the key. I'm going to drop the size down. I'm going to experiment with some spinning around of the image. I'm going to do exactly the same now with glass two and then glass three. Now you can see the starting point of those three images and experimentation is the key here. When I press play, you can see exactly how they fall onto the screen. But what we can do now is separately animate the frame. So with glass one selected, I'll just select frame one, two, so you can see that how the keyframes line up. So here I'm going to right click and clone a keyframe. So we're just dealing with the frame now. So we've got to be equally effective with trying things which are a little bit different. So at the starting point, I'm going to make adjustments to the keyframe. So what am I going to do? Well, let's have a look at spinning it right round to the other side. A little bit wacky, 
but let's press play and see the effect. See what I mean? We can animate the images and the frame independently of each other. And we have the opportunity to do exactly the same with text, video and any other object. If you want to download a couple of slide styles to observe this a bit more closely on your own computer, I'll make those available.